Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the program where we are throwing the exception explicitly. Means the system is not going to throw the exception. User is going to throw the exception using the code. Now here, first of all, we have designed a form. This is form one, and we change the text. That is Ankit Varma. I have given my name. Then we drag and drop label. This is label one, and change the text, which is structured exception handling. Because here we are using the try catch block. So try catch and try. We know that whenever we use try catch block, it is called structured exception handling. Then afterward, we have dragged and dropped another label, which is label two, and change the text that is throw explicitly. We know that there are few exceptions which are inbuilt. Just like if we are dividing a number, let's say seven, divide by zero. So this is divided by zero is infinity or maybe not defined. So this is system exception. That means system knows it. Or maybe if we are having an array inside array, we are having some of the entries. Now let's say this is the array. Now inside that we are having let's say some entries like one, two, one, and the index values are zero, one, and two, and array name is A. If I am trying to access A three, which is not the part of this array, so this is the system defined exception, which is called the Array out of bound. So these are the system exception which system handle by itself. But there are some exception which user provide. Now these exception system do not handle. Just like here in this case, we are taking the simple example. Let's say if I am entering my name, let's say Ankit, I want that the first letter should be capital. Now this exception system don't know. Or maybe if I enter some marks, let's say one zero one, we know that nobody can provide marks one zero one out of hundred. So that is exception system don't handle. Why system don't handle? Because you see, in the system, you provide Ankit as capital, small, or maybe first letter capital. System don't have any problem. So in this case, system will say it is correct. So system is not going to handle this. Similarly. We know that the marks out of hundred can be only up to hundred, like ninety nine, eighty seven. But here one zero one, we know that this is a problem. But system says you even enter one thousand, two thousand, five thousand. System don't have the problem. So such exceptions we have to throw explicitly. So here we use the keyword which is called throw. So here we are learning that exception which is throwing explicitly means system will not throw it. We have to. Here we drag and drop another label, which is label three, and change the text that is enter name. Then we drag and drop one text box. This is text box one. Here user will going to provide the input. Then we drag and drop one button. This is button one, and we change the text that is click. Then we double click on the button. This code will open. Here we are having class form one. So for the form one class is created public because. This class can be accessed outside. We are using the form outside also, ending with the end class. Now inside that, we are having the code of button. This is sub. Sub means no return type. Button one just go click. This is the name of procedure. Here we are passing two parameters. So this is system defined, and it is going to handle button one dot click. Whenever the button is clicked, then this code will be executed. And this is private because button is the part of form, and it is ending with the end sub. So this is one block which is created. Now we are going to see that how this program will work. First of all, we are assuming that here we are providing the normal input. Let's say we are providing here capital A, then N K I T. I have given my first name, and the first letter is the capital. We know that. In this program, we are going to check whether first letter is capital or not. If it is capital, then no problem. If it is not capital, then throw the exception. So our first input is capital A N K I T. Then afterward, we click on the button. So button code will execute. Here the first line is comment program of throw exception explicitly by Ankit Parma. This is the simply comment. Compiler will not read that. Then afterward, dim a b as string. So here we have taken two variables. One is a, and second one is b. So two variables are taken. 
a is equal to text box one dot text. So from text box one, the text which we have entered, we know that text we have entered is capital A, then N K I T. This is a text. It is stored to variable A. B is equal to A dot cares at zero. We know that whenever we are storing any string, here they are stored like now zero, one, two, three, and four, then afterward null. So here zeroth index character and we know that zeroth index character is nothing but a so this a we have taken and we stored it to the b so here this a is stored to the b a dot character at zeroth place zeroth index now afterward we are having the try catch block so this is the try block and this is the catch block catch block will only work when there is some kind of exception encounter we know that system is not going to handle the exception. So here we have to throw the exception because for the system, small a, capital A, all are same. They are correct for the system. But for our program, we want to make that if the first letter is not capital, then we should throw the exception. So here we are saying that if a sky value of B, B means this A, B is the variable where we are storing this A, so a sky value of B, that means this A is less than 65 or a sky value of B variable is greater than 90. We should know that 65 to 90, that is the range of capital A to Z. So if our letter is not falling between A to Z, in that case we are going to throw. But here our letter is capital A. So already it is not following the condition that's why if part will not work and if afterward we are going to the message box A. So whatever in the A, we know that in the A we are having capital A and KIT. So this will be displayed. So if I enter this Ankit and press the button, then afterward this message box will appear and it will show the result as Ankit. So this is one form where we have given the proper input and there is no exception. Now we are going to provide some other input so that we can see how the program will behave if some exception occur. Let's say A and K I T and here the first letter is small. Here we want that there should be exception that should occur and this exception we will throw explicitly because system will not handle it. So we enter the small A and K I T then afterward we click on the button and then the code of button will run we know that the first line is the comment so that line will not be taken by the compiler then a b as string two variables are declared one is a and one is b now here a is equal to text box one dot text so right now the value which is taken by a is small a then n k i t so this value is taken then afterward b is equal to a dot cares at zero. So at the zeroth place we are having the small a. So this small a will be taken into the variable b. So in the b we are having small a. Now afterward in the try block we know that this is the try block and the catch block. Catch block will work only when there is some kind of exception or user is throwing some exception. Here if a sky value of variable b, we know that in the variable b we are having the small a is less than 65 or a sky value of variable b that means small a which is inside is greater than 90. For sure it will be because it is small a. It is not the capital A to Z whose range is from 65 to 90. The range is not there. So here it will come inside and afterward throw new exception. We should see that throw keyword is used whenever user want to throw its exception explicitly it will use the throw keyword because such exception which system don't understand we has to use this keyword throw now afterward when the exception is throw immediately here it will be jumping to the catch block in the catch block catch ex as exception so one object is created which is ex now here we are having message box should be displayed so whenever we provide the small letter first then afterward this 
message box will appear and here we are having exception first letter must be capital so such type of exception will be there and here in that case message box will not appear because once the exception is thrown then it will be coming here and the program will not go back so here this is how we can throw the exception explicitly the system is not understanding few exceptions just like the marks more than 100 for the system you can enter any marks or maybe small letter capital letter for the system you can take any letter but let's suppose in your id card you need all the letters capital or maybe you have the program where mark should be less than 100 so here user understand that this is exception but system don't so in such cases user has to throw the exception explicitly so here we have thrown the exception explicitly using the throw keyword so that is all about the exception handling using the throw keyword